Let's start with the alphabetic characters, which can be uppercase or lowercase. These don't provide enough variable names, coefficients, constants, etc. So we have to also add Greek letters to our alphabet, including their uppercase and lowercase counterparts. There are conventions though. Scalar variables, which contain a single value, are often denoted by a lowercase alphabetic letter. Vectors, which you can think of as list of numbers, are denoted by a bold lowercase letter. A variable containing a matrix is often denoted by a capital letter. Angles, whether they are radians or degrees, are often denoted by the Greek symbol theta. Certain symbols, such as lowercase pi and Euler's number e, are reserved for special constants you will see all over mathematics. If you see a symbol with parentheses to its right accepting an argument, you are most likely looking at a function. There are operators that can be done on functions such as max, which will return the maximum output variable that can be achieved with that function. There is also argmax, which does the same thing except it finds the input variables that achieves that maximum output variable.